Is the New Testament more important than the Old Testament? The Bible is a big book. It's huge. Ouch! You wouldn't want one dropped on your head. No, you wouldn't. It's not just one book, though. The Bible is actually made up of a ton of smaller books. 66 books, in fact. And it's divided into two sections called Testaments. The so-called Old Testament, or the Hebrew Scriptures, and the New Testament. Now, Christians may seem to prefer the New Testament, which kind of makes sense, really, because the New Testament tells the story of Jesus. You know, Jesus. Many people believe that Jesus is the center of human history. Whoopee! That he changed how people view forgiveness and freedom, that he changed governments, that he changed how we interact with God, and almost everybody agrees that Jesus is a pretty big deal. And that makes the New Testament a big deal. So if the New Testament is that important, do we really need the Old Testament? Well, first, it might be worth at least considering what's in the Old Testament. I mean, if you found an old birthday gift under your bed, you wouldn't throw it away without opening it first to see what's inside. Some people think of the Old Testament as just a dusty old history book filled with a lot of boring rules and stories of mean, violent people and how God did smite them. In this corner, weighing in at 685 pounds with a record of 58 no, the polarizer! <laughs> Oh, I don't think so. And there certainly was plenty of smiting going on. Oh man, what smited? Oh, I see. But smiting is just a tiny part of what the Old Testament is about. There's some amazing stuff in there. There are grand stories like the creation of the universe, powerful kings, <laughs> furious battles, hair-raising yarns of narrow escapes, Heartwarming tales of seafaring zoologists going on extended boating trips with their animal friends. <laughs> oh, the drama. And there is beautiful lyrical poetry, like the Song of Solomon, which is about the joys of human love. Ew! There are also some really good guidelines for everyday living, like what you should do when your ox accidentally gores your next door neighbor. Uh, uh, Phil, a little help here? Uh, just a sec. I know it's in here somewhere. And of course, there's the ever-building anticipation, the hopes and longing of God's people for a coming Messiah, excitement about what he would do for God's people and how he would do it. The Old Testament is great stuff. But consider this. Imagine you've never seen Star Wars. Are you crazy? You've never even heard of Star Wars. And a friend comes up to you and says, Oh man, you have got to see Star Wars. Luke Skywalker like blows up the Death Star. You'd be like, what? What's a Death Star? And who is Luke? Pie Stalker. Luke, I am your father. You'd have no idea why it even mattered for Luke to blow up the Death Star. Well, that's sort of what happens if you only read the New Testament without the Old. You'd have no way to really understand Jesus' story, or his people, or what made his ministry and his teaching so astonishing and even blasphemous to some people, or why his death and crucifixion and resurrection were and are so incredibly important. You'd just plain miss out on what it all means because the end of the story would have no beginning. Reading the New Testament without knowing or understanding the Old Testament is a lot like only looking at the after picture in a before and after comparison. This is what I looked like after I grew up my goatee. Great, I guess. The after picture without the before picture is just a snapshot. It's only when you see the pictures side by side you know the beginning, middle, and the end of the story. And as any good storyteller knows, hearing about the beginning and the middle makes all the difference when you get to the end. Too true. Interdimensional creatures. The most amazing thing about the Bible is that even though it is made up of dozens of books written by a ton of people over thousands of years, the arc of the story holds together from the Old Testament to the New Testament to now. God is constantly seeking us out, constantly seeking everyone out in love. And for Christians, that story, the whole story, finds its ultimate completion in the person of Jesus Christ. What's up? So what do you think? Do we still need the Old Testament? <laughs>